Welcome back friends. Here is a general overview of what temperatures I cook different food at on the griddle. If you're new to griddling or you haven't seen one of my videos, I always cook by temperature, not by the knobs. I don't go by low, medium, high. Use an infrared thermometer, get the temperature of the griddle, cook by that. If you don't have an infrared thermometer, I got a link in the description. I highly recommend you pick one up. I have other videos about that. So the general overview for this is it's my very generic rule of thumb. There's lots of charts on the internet with going to great detail at specific temperatures. This one's just a real overview, which I think is plenty, plenty for the new griddle owner. You don't need to overthink it. We'll start at the bottom. 300 to 325 degrees is where I cook eggs, omelets, toast buns, and hot dogs. The buns and the hot dogs, you could do a little higher if you want you just run the risk of burning them. Especially hot dogs, you'll burn them before the inside's done. The buns, you're in no hurry. Just do it low and slow is my opinion on it. Eggs and omelets though, there's no negotiating. Do not go over 325. You will burn them way before you get a chance to flip them or move your scrambled eggs around. Really, you wanna be closer to 300. If you look at these eggs I made here, I did omelets and egg rings with my Cuisinart egg ring set. I'll also put that down in the description. That was all between 300 and 325, and that's how I got the perfect looking omelets and little fried eggs. Uh, maybe not perfect, but they look good. Next is my general all around cooking. That's 350 to 375. This is pretty much everything else. Grilled chicken, ground beef, fried rice. And for breakfast, you're doing your sausage, bacon, pancakes, potatoes. A regular hamburger, not a smash burger. Steak, after you've seared it, you would put back at 350 and vegetables. So this is just your general cooking. 350 is always general cooking. This is where we kept it at. I worked at Bob Evans for three years. The general one for pancakes and stuff is at 350, 375. The egg one was always around 310. So, you know, 350 is a right in the middle of the road that's where your oven usually turns on at when you just preheat it initially because it's it's a middle of the road cooking it's where everything's at your high end 425 to 450 is where you would sear a steak or cook your smash burgers now when you sear a steak you're talking a couple minutes per side then you move it back to 350 you don't cook the entire time at 450 the smash burgers you do cook the entire time because you smash them so thin they cook in their juices and you flip them but just make sure when you're searing a steak, you're just searing it. You're not leaving it on that temp forever. So sear it, get it off. Anything above 450, in my opinion, is just not necessary. Like no one really cooks at that in any of the restaurants I've ever worked in, in my 20 years in restaurants. Some people just like to get, you know, an outdoor griddle or a grill and crank it up to high and just to see how high it goes. And, and that's really just to kind of see what it can do that's not a real temperature that people cook at so this is the three zones that I try to cook at I hope you found this helpful it's part of a playlist that I'm doing for you know beginner griddles just everything you need to know if you just got a griddle that's on your screen now so click on that if you want some more good information if you're just learning how to griddle 